Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another video. I have been hard at work in between episodes and we have our automated mine set up nicely. It's not perfect as of yet, but it's pretty much doing the job, especially to get our fund to be able to buy the forge claim. Now I've spent quite a bit of money upgrading. I've got obviously sorters. I've got one here for the gold, one for the iron, and then we've got just gems down there and we've got shards down here. So my goal is I've as I said, I've spent quite a bit of money with this sort of build here. What I'm aiming to do and what we are going to be doing very shortly is we're going to be melting all of that lot. And we're going to see if we can basically make one set of jewelry that's literally going to give us the seven and a half thousand that we need to buy the forge. First of all, what I'm going to do actually is we're going to go shopping and I'm going to buy some scales. I just want to see what these gold bars are going to weigh in at. And we'll do a little competition as well. We will craft a nice, maybe a necklace or something like that. And then once we've crafted the necklace, what I'm going to do is get you guys to guess how much that necklace is worth. Okay, so here we are at the shop. I'm hoping I've got enough. I've got, I've got 506 and, oh, the scales are only 146. So yeah, I've got plenty for that. That's perfectly fine. We'll grab these scales. I'm just thinking, is there anything else we should grab while we're here? Maybe a magnet on a stick. No, that's a bit too expensive, actually. So I won't go for that. Um, Let me see. Maybe don't really need a shovel, to be honest with you. And um, pickaxe is too expensive. I think we will leave it there, actually. We'll just get the scales. Although I have got an idea for these smelters, which will be a future upgrade. I've got a good idea what I'm going to do with them. Uh, we'll put this in the back of the truck. With the smelters, what I'm going to do, instead of having the uh, cauldrons down in the pit, I'm going to try and set up some sort of conveyor belt system, um, which will go into the hand sorters and then basically just directly into the smelters, just to make it a bit more efficient. But I'm not sure whether to do that at the claim we're at now or whether I'll probably do that sort of upgrade in the forge when I start fresh, so he's trying to move things around. So we'll head back to the claim now. So here we are back at the claim, we'll get our scale set down, check nothing's broken. No, nothing's broken, still everything's going. I have noticed that these sorters do sometimes get a bit jumbled up with stuff, that one's a bit blocked, that probably needs a good clear out. I'll do that as and when. Let's just stick the scales over here, shall we? Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go for our iron bar. So, pause the video now, and drop a comment down below, and let me know how much you think this iron bar is going to weigh. And three, two, one. How much do you reckon it's gonna weigh, guys? 2,561. That's how much that gold bar is worth alone. Now, if that iron bar weighs quite a bit to earn us two and a half thousand, I think our nice shiny gold necklace is going to be worth quite a lot. What I'm probably going to do is do, I'll do two iron bars and we'll make an axe. We won't check and see how much the gold bar weighs straight away. We'll definitely pop this one down though, get this one crafted into a bar. And we'll set that one aside, ready for our necklace. Probably going to do a black gemstone. I should have one here somewhere. That one there, maybe? We'll probably do that one, to be honest. So we'll pop that. We'll pop that straight on the anvil for now, actually. That'll be fine there. Well, okay, so let's turn off our machine. And we'll get this lot in here as best we can so i'll get this cleared up and i will we will see what it's going to weigh in at i've just picked up the crucible and let's just say the game is um rather laggy so i'm guessing we've got quite a lot of gold in that one quite a lot of gold in this one that gold bar there wasn't as laggy as this one I can assure you of that. So we'll just pop that in there, get that melting nice and hot. While that's doing that, we might as well do the iron as well. Uh, the iron's gone kind of everywhere a little bit, but that's not too much of an issue. We'll 
whack with this iron in this in this crucible here oh yes and this one's definitely extremely laggy as well so we have quite a lot of iron in that one as well oh yes it's um definitely definitely laggy so we'll get this one smelted nicely this one's definitely taking a while to eat up there we go get this gold bar done okay so now we have the gold bar crafted what we need to do is we need to get them nice and glowing red so we'll get them nice and glowing red chuck them in the furnace okay once they're nice and glowing red what we need to do is chuck them onto our anvil over here and we will get our nice necklace crafted we can get a nice necklace crafted there we go look at that beautiful necklace we have there so before we go anywhere else make sure you pause the video drop a comment down below and tell me how much you reckon this necklace is worth and in three two one we'll drop it on our scales what do you reckon guys how much do you reckon it's worth eleven thousand six hundred and thirty eight that will give us plenty of money to be able to afford to forge and most probably get some parts and bits and pieces as well so what we're going to know now is we're going to craft the axe what do you reckon the axe is going to give us guys okay let's craft our other iron bar and let's whack these both on the both on the furnace first get them nice and glowing red and then we'll craft our axe we haven't got any more iron lying around otherwise i could craft a sword but we'll craft an axe nonetheless get these nice and hot and red first okay so our iron bars are glowing nice and red now so we should be able to craft these into a saw an axe rather so we'll just pop them there pop these straight on the anvil highlight the axe and away we go lovely looking axe right pause the video and drop your comments down below and how much you think the axe is going to be worth it's worth an amazing 6,448 okay then so let's get everything packed up what I'm going to do first is turn this back on so we've got some stuff going through here we are at the jewelers so let's see what we have here 11,638 for the necklace and what have we got here for the axe overall so we have a nice 18,000 to go and purchase our forge and we'll see what else we can buy while we there so I'll head over to the forge and I will see you guys when we get there so here we are at the beautiful Icebound forge again now if I'm a remember rightly we've got a head down here and um, we've got a head over this direction I believe to the tools and equipment and this should be the bottom of the chute I believe or well, is this the shop no this is a shop okay so we've got to try and remember now where our items will be are they further down the bottom? I remember exactly how we um got down here. And for sale, yes, that's for sale. And there we go. So yeah, whatever you put down there brings you down to here. Okay, so let's buy this for seven thousand two hundred, and we have. 10,000 left which should be plenty to get us started though if I remember rightly to get a drill I think it's maybe a hundred iron weight I believe maybe it's 100 maybe it's 300 I can't remember what one it is but we'll have a look once we get over here so where is it here yes so no it's a hundred for the harvester and this is the 
tier 2 harvester, which is a Caltium harvester. Okay. So I have noticed I've got a couple of random bits of ore right at the start claim, and I'm guessing that's probably Caltium. It's a bronzy colour. So it looks very similar to that. I'm guessing that's what that is, but I think we're going to be quite far away off that. We'll probably get lots of Caltium down here. So what have we here? We've got the iron drill, which is 300 iron bar weight. And then we've got a forged intake booster. Okay, so I think we'll buy each one of these at tier 1, I reckon. So we'll get this one to start, and we'll grab this one. And um, we'll definitely grab this one. Now, although we've bought the designs, we do need to obviously get the weight for the iron to be able to actually use them. And now I've bought them, I think what I'm going to do is head back to our starting claim. I'm going to do some grinding and get some metal bars. I want to at least purchase the harvester and drill. And we'll get them set up here in the board with a couple of calcium pipes and we will start the mining process and, and here we are for our iron and bar creation now let's see how much this works. i have let my automatic machine go for some time now so it's been doing its thing i've had to clean up a couple of times as you can see the gold is literally all over the place and everything else but let's see how much this iron bar weighs so we needed 300 for the drill and we needed 100 for the harvester. Let's see what we have. Oh wow, we've got a massive 650.62. That's absolutely plenty. So that's absolutely plenty. So let's head back to the forge and we will see how the Ice Helm Forge works finally. Been looking forward to this to see how this all works. Here we are at the Wondrous Forge with our massive iron bar. So let's head on over there and we will see how this all works so let's see what we have to do so we've got to put the mastercraft design on the pedestal our iron in the crucible and pull the lever i'm guessing this is the crucible here so we'll just pop our iron in that not really sure why that's doing that, but that's doing that. I'm going to buy this pallet as well, because if I read the description properly, whatever items we place on here will lock them onto the pallet, and we can transport them all at the same time. So we shall see how this works. Ah, yes. Okay, that's perfect. That's really ideal, actually definitely saves us a lot of time running back and forwards can't sprint though with all this um all this heavy machinery on us which isn't surprising to be honest not surprising at all so what do we go for first so these little intake boosters boost the pressure reading on the help section you're allowed up to four of these on a pipe so we'll probably get four of them as we have got quite a bit of iron to spare so pop that on there apparently put the iron in the crucible which it has okay i'm hoping that it doesn't use it all when it does um leave extras pull this and we'll see how this works oh interesting okay um hopefully it hasn't used all my iron oh no there it is and there's the rest of the iron there. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, so these, you don't just use these once. You can use these as many times as you want. Ah, okay. Well, that's that's definitely good to know. That is definitely good to know. I think we'll move this one. Put this on the pallet. There we go. And pull the lever again and there we have our drill so in that case I might as well just leave these here because this is the only place we can use them so we might as well just leave them there 
pop this on the pallet as well, don't we? Like so. Let's get a few of these crafted. How many of them did we need again? Four? We'll craft four of them. There we go. Nice little booster. Pop that on the pallet. Let's head on down to our claim and we'll drop this off down there. So I think we've had a very good episode. So what I'll do in the meantime, ready for the next episode, I will probably spend my time getting all this sorted and built and then we'll have a nice little showcase and we'll see what resources we will find in the next episode. Thank you all for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts so far or any ideas on how you sort of want me to build this. I've got a few ideas in mind which i'm sure you will all enjoy and like make sure you hit that like button if you've enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this episode and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss the next episode where i'll show you my wondrous build it's been a pleasure having you all here and i will see you in the next video